Hi everyone, my name is Austin and I'm going to be one of your unit coordinators this summer. So I'm going to be building something called a geodome. This is a really popular structure and way of building structures because it lets you make a dome out of triangles. I'm going to show you how to build one and to do that I'm also going to show you a couple cool hitches and lashes that you can use in order to create one of these. So to do this project you'll need a couple different materials. First you'll need, I think I have 26 strings. Each is a little bit over a foot long. I also have 25 little sticks. Each one is about five or six inches long. Um, and I have them grouped like this. So there's five that are pretty thin, five that are sort of intermediate thicknesses, and 15 are a little bit thicker. And you'll see why in just a second. So to do this project, the first thing I'm going to show y'all is how to do something called a clove hitch. So the first way that you can make a clove hitch is you want to make two Mickey Mouse ears, one with the tail in the front and one with the tail in the back. And once you have those two Mickey Mouse ears, you're going to take the ear with the tail in the back and slide it in front of the one with the tail in the front. And that way you have a clove hitch. Once you have that clove hitch, you can slide it onto your stick just like that. The second way to tie a clove hitch is to start by wrapping it around the stick and then wrapping it around a second time but this time taking it in an egg shape around your stick and once you've taken it around that second time what you want to do is you want to go through that bottom of this X right there you want to go through that and pull the end through the X. Now look at how I go through and underneath it. When you tighten it up that way, you have your clove hitch. Clove hitches are unique in that when you pull on both sides of them, they tighten, but if I were to pull on one side, it doesn't do much and it almost loosens it up. Right, so to make these triangles, you want to start out with that clove hitch, and you've got your clove hitch and it kind of looks like a pretzel. You want to put one side of your stick or your log through there and you pull on both sides to tighten it. Once you've got that done, you want to do a square lash to attach it to another stick. So a square lash involves coming up and over the top one behind the bottom one, up back and over that top one, underneath that way, and you just kind of warp it around a couple times, just like that. And once you've gone around a couple times, your next step is to take that string and wind it around your lashing. Once you've got it wound, you want to take that tail, remember clove hitch, and you want to just take both ends of your string and you want to tie them in a nice square knot, which is just like the knot you start tying your shoes with, where you go around each other once, and then you do the same thing a second time. So now those two are connected and they're kind of at a right angle. 
And you want to do the same thing to attach the next two sticks. You want to attach them just like that. And it doesn't really matter which side is on which end of this, just so long as you eventually get them all lined up into a triangle. So my next step is going to be to start attaching the triangles with cross beams over the top so that they're all standing up kind of like this. I'm going to do this two at a time and the way it's going to work is I'm going to take two triangles and I'm going to be attaching a beam that goes across the top of them just like that. So to start out, I'm going to take my cross beams and I'm going to tie two clove hitches. So now I have my cross beam and I have two long tails and two short tails. So I'm going to take two of the triangles that I want to connect and this one is going to be a lot more casual than the other ones, but I'm going to just do my best job at a square latching to both of these. So I'm going to go under and over and under again and maybe around on this side. And this doesn't have to be perfect, this is just your best try. But once you get it around a couple times, we're going to go ahead and do that nice square knot, just like that. Now it's tied on that side. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So now that I've done those two, I'm going to keep using cross beams to attach the rest of my triangles. So I had to move inside because the sun had started to set, but here is where I'm at so far. You can see that I've added in cross beams between each of my triangles. So the next thing that I'm going to focus on is I'm going to slide that over there. I'm going to show you how to put the top on and how to put the top together. So to make the top, um, it's similar to the rest of them, but we're going to connect these five very thinnest sticks together using several clove hitches. So I like to do it one by one. They're not done yet. I want to add one last square knot to keep them all in relatively the same place. So I'm almost ready for the last part. So I've taken my top and I've rested it so that each 
one of these sticks is in one of the corners of that pentagon on the top there. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to start tying some square lashes from each of those clove hitches on the ends to each one of those little intersections. So now that I've attached all of the top pieces to my geodome, it is all finished. It's made out of triangles. We started with those first five and then we added five more with each of the cross beams and then the top added five additional ones. This structure is a pretty strong structure, even though it's just made out of twigs. I could rest a couple things on top of it that would probably stay put. Geodomes are also really cool because they have a lot of space inside of them given what their surface area is. There's your geodome. You can trim the strings if you want to make it look a little bit prettier, but that's basically how you do it.